Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be reviewing the latest features introduced in the 2025 update of Clo 3D. When working on my next tutorial, I received a notification about the update. I was excited to explore the new features and try them out. So I decided to create this quick review video to test the latest version. This update includes several enhancements, with the standout being the new AI-powered features, which will be the focus of this video. Let's dive in and see what's new. Right after downloading the new version, there's no major changes with the workspace layout. Clo 3D has updated the library folder, and the new folder is designed to help you locate files efficiently. If you still prefer the old library format like I do, you can easily switch back to the original setting at any time. The first AI tool I will test is the AI Pose Generator. It's located on top toolbar, under Avatar. Once you open the window, first step is selecting the avatar's gender. A white avatar will appear in the 3D window. Type the prompt to describe the pose you'd like to create. For example, I will enter runway walking pose and click generate. After a brief moment, the AI generated image will appear. If you're satisfied with the image, click generate at the bottom of the window. This will transform the avatar to approximate the pose from the image. As you can see in the 3D window, although the pose somewhat resembles the image, it still requires a lot of tweaking. To adjust it, first save the generated pose. Bring in a new avatar in 3D window. And open the saved pose. Using avatar's joints to adjust the pose to your liking. If you're new to creating poses in Clo 3D, I recommend checking out my previous tutorial how to create avatar pose in Clo 3D for step-by-step -step guidance. It took me about eight minutes to adjust the AI generated pose into something that matched my vision. For those who has less experienced with pose creation, the process may take a bit longer as it does require some practice. By the way, you can download this pose I created for free using the link in the description. Let's explore another example. This time, I'll create a male sitting pose. I can tell there will be an issue after generating the image from prompt, because the male figure got three legs. To avoid this type of issue, I will upload my own reference image instead and click Generate. Well, the result's still far from perfect, and I won't be able to use it without further adjustment. Overall, I think the AI Pose Generator is a great tool for anyone looking to save time when creating poses. However, it still has room for improvement. At this stage, significant manual adjustments are often necessary to make the pose truly presentable. Before moving on to the next AI feature, let me quickly mention the Avatar Editor new updates since I have the Avatar in the 3D window. In the updated version, the Avatar Editor now includes options to adjust the Avatar's hip dips and volume providing greater customization.
Additionally, you can fine-tune the avatar's breast shape, spacing, and height to achieve a more realistic human figure. One more new updated for avatar pose, you can now flip pose to your desired direction. Just simply right-click on avatar in 3D window and choose flip pose. Moving on to the next new feature. In the top window toolbar, under the 2D menu, you'll find pattern drafter. Click on it to open the pattern drafter window. Here, you'll see three type options. However, at this point, only the t-shirt option is available for selection. Once selected, you can choose a sleeve style for your t-shirt. After making your selection, a transparent pattern will appear in the 2D window, along with measurement details displayed in the pattern drafter window. The new pattern drafter function is designed to quickly generate a basic t-shirt pattern. It also allows you to input your own measurements, making it easy to draft a custom-made pattern. Once you've entered your measurements, click Create at the bottom of the window. The patterns will then be generated in the 2D window. In the top right corner of the Pattern Drafter window, you'll notice the AI Pattern Drafter feature. Click the icon to open AI Pattern Drafter window. Currently, the only type available is the T-shirt. To use this feature, you'll need to write a prompt describing the desired T-shirt style to generate an image. Alternatively, you can click the file icon in the prompt window to select preset keywords. Once the prompt is ready, click Generate and wait for the AI to create an image. Keep in mind that the image may not always turn out as expected. In such cases, you can refine the prompt and regenerate it. Let's try that. I'll adjust the prompt. And this time, the result is much better. Now, I'll click Generate at the bottom of the window. This will create standard measurements based on the t-shirt style displayed in the Pattern Drafter window. You can modify these measurements as needed. Once satisfied, click Create, and the finalized pattern will appear in the 2D window. While the pattern might not perfectly match the AI-generated image, it serves as a great base block that you can further refine to your liking. Let's try another style. This time, instead of typing in prompt, I will upload an image of a flat sketch. So far, it seems this tool is primarily designed for generating pretty basic t-shirt patterns. If you're just starting to learn pattern making, this AI tool could be a great help in creating a base block that you can modify as needed. My final thoughts. These AI features are the major updates to the 2025 Clo 3D version. While the tools sound promising, there are limitations. The patterns generated don't always match the AI images, which can be disappointing. Additionally, I've encountered an issue where I can't continue using the AI Pattern Drafter without restarting Clo 3D, which is inconvenient. If you've experienced the same problem, please share your feedback in the comments section. Overall, the 2025 updates include some useful features, but the AI functionality feels inconsistent at times.
Hopefully, Clo will refine and enhance these tools in future updates. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more tutorials coming soon.